So we're here at uh, Ninaho Connect. And uh, so what do you think about Ninaho? It's, uh, it's been an amazing forum. I understand it's been a great, great week. And uh, the work that happens here really is helping to shape the industry view of Linux on ARM. Um, it's, uh, it's vibrant, it's intense, and Hong Kong's been a great place for it. So how soon can we get uh, Ubuntu ARM powered laptops, like uh, hundreds of millions of them? Well, so you can get Ubuntu ARM powered laptops today. There's been a fantastic work done. So some of the some of the Android laptops that are out there work with Ubuntu perfectly, and a lot of that work was done here at uh, at Lenaro. And uh, there are ARM devices on sale in some countries around the world. And uh, I think by the end of the year, that will be much much more widespread. So the the CPUs are getting fast enough now. Mm -hmm. Is a question of memory bandwidth maybe? Oh, as always, you know, we're bootstrapping an ecosystem, so there are there are there are constraints that we run into, and as we run into them, we fix them. This first generation of of, of hardware will inevitably have have strengths and weaknesses, um, but we you know we are we are breaking completely new ground, and uh, and that's always fun to do. So, do you think ARM as a platform, as an ecosystem, is going to be an opportunity for uh, Linux to really reach huge? market like billions of devices right I mean uh, it's already happening but in a, in a sense like uh, I think I think the Linux and ARM story is already a, a, a wonderful story of innovation and and, uh, and diversity and what's happening here is a little bit different I think what, what's happening here is turning that shaping that into more of a uh, an open ecosystem um, historically it's been about individual devices and the innovation that's tied up in a particular device whereas here this is about creating platforms and creating um, um, open markets open ecosystems so it's a different kind of challenge. But billions of devices, I, I think that goes without saying. So how do you organize Canonical? How does it work? Because uh, how many employees do you have? And how do you we're, about, we're about 500 people. We're spread over uh, maybe 40 different countries. Um, we have our, our biggest presences in places like um, Taipei, where we have a lot of people who work directly with the device ecosystem, making devices work with, uh, with Ubuntu. Um, and that goes for all kinds of devices, servers, laptops, desktops, and now ARM devices as well. Um, uh, our developer organization is completely distributed, so people work from wherever they, f they, f they find themselves happiest and most productive. And that works. And that works for us. Um, and our, our design uh, is all laid out in London. That's my, my big passion, is creating user experiences that are beautiful and, and, and efficient and effective for developers and brand new users. So do you think most of the Ampart servers for big chunk is going to run Ubuntu? Um, I think Ubuntu will be there. I think it's important that there be lots of Linux distributions, so, so the, the, the more the merrier. Um, I know that for a lot of the workloads that people care about now, like uh, Hadoop and uh, cloud workloads and so on, Ubuntu is the most popular operating system for all of those kinds of scale-out workloads. So it's a very natural fit for us, probably more natural fit for us than for others. But You're making it's a big it a, world. a big priority, no? uh, We have a lot of people working on ARM and, and enjoy it. Yeah, they enjoy it.